it's sirisha yesterday yeah while creating the cost profile i'm not able to select the values to structure you are defining average cost ordination no? yeah both i defined standard as as well as average i created but the, for standard only i am going to create the the cost profile okay i am having a doubt where to choose the common and where to choose the enterprise set for reference data set so if you are not common. able to find a common you can choose enterprise Oh, either is common fine. Is, yeah, common is not showing in the drop down. Choose enterprise. Okay. In the cost or nation, uh, here you choose the enterprise. Huh? Okay. And you have added inventory or nations. Valuation structure. And you're not able to see valuation structure or valuation unit in the cost profile. Uh, if we select one, the other will be defaulted, right? Okay. Which is not showing from the drop down. Yeah. Which is not showing from the drop down. This one I have done so so long back. Um, in Dev 7, again, I created everything from scratch. And in that, I'm getting the error. Okay. So which instance you want me to verify? Dev 7. Here in Dev 7, I am not getting um, the error. Uh, where I am getting is uh, the, for the validation rule while closing the period, we'll run the validation rules, right? So there. Madam, don't confuse me, okay? Which one you want me to verify? Let me know. For Dev 7, Krishna. For Dev 7, what you want me to verify? In Dev 7, I am getting the error in mm. closing the period while closing the period. While closing the period? Huh? Yeah. Okay. What is your business user login? I sent it in mail. Okay. For Dev 7, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is the user, huh? Yes. Okay. For period close, it might uh, get error. Uh, what error you are getting for period close? Do you remember?
because if you don't run create accounting, it will throw error. In which section you are getting, you will not remember. Huh? Pending creating account in final model. Yeah, that obviously you'll get because we need to post all the transactions to the create accounting uh, to the ledger, right? So the yeah. ledger side configurations are not available. Oh, so okay. this, uh, obviously you'll get that error because all these transactions we have to post to the ledger. Like in the sales order also invoice and receipt, we post it to the ledger, right? Yes. Like that, all the inventory transactions we are transferring to the costing model. From the costing model, you have to post to the ledger. To post to the ledger, you have to run the create accounting in the final mode. Okay. So create yeah. accounting running in the final mode, it's a finance job. And also if you run create accounting in the final mode also, the errors won't rectify. It's because we have not done the ledger setups. Okay. That's why. So that yeah. you can ignore it. Sure. Here also your cost earnation starts with three. No, 53 KS. <clears throat> so if you click on run validations, or maybe you have already run the validations, if you click on view exceptions, yeah. So this obviously you'll get, okay? Because we have to run create accounting in the final mode. We're okay. talking about these 13 errors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that we are not able to resolve because of the SLA setups. We have to perform SLA configuration in the GL module. Okay. Do you know how to run create accounting? From here, we have to run. So create accounting and select uh, the subledger application. If you wanted to process, if you want to transfer or if you want to post uh, receiving, PO receiving transactions to the ledger book, you have to select receipt accounting here and select the ledger book. And uh, yeah, I would like to post the transactions happened uh, uh, till August 24th to my ledger book and select accounting mode to final. Draft is nothing but it will not post. It will only give you the output of this uh, program. And in that output, you can verify which uh, transaction is hitting to which account you can verify if it is under draft mode. If it is in the final mode, it will give you the output. In the output, you can verify which transaction is hitting which account and it will also post to the ledger. Okay, so this is for the receipt accounting. And create accounting, you have to run for cost management also. Because if you select cost management, under the cost management, inventory transactions, sales order picking, sales order shipping, except PO receiving, remaining transactions are under the cost management application. So you have to run for the cost management also. Again, if you run in the final mode, the transactions are going to post to the ledger book. But these programs will, will fail because of the ledger side SLA configuration setups. Okay. Okay, Krishna. Hmm. Thank you. Next question, please. Good morning, sir. Rahim Bisi. Ah, Rahim. Uh, while I'm creating the job set uh, in uh, uh, EHTJ instance, I am not able to fetch this uh, bill of lading and commercial invoice. Uh, is there any issue with the instance or uh, I'm not aware of sure. it? So yes, whichever is coming in the list of values, you can pick it up. Okay. Okay. Not okay. uh, when just, I'm, just to understand how the setup to be created, okay. just pick up anything, not an issue. Okay, okay because that setup uh, it will be done by technical consultant in real time okay 
Okay. So, you can just know the concept, that's enough. Oh. Sridhar, do you have some questions, right? What are those? Sridhar, can you hear me? Okay, next question, please. Okay, I'll talk to you after completion of the order management session. Do you have time? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk to you after completion of order management session. Okay, thank you, sir. Any more doubts, please? Hi, sir. Hello, madam. Uh, sir, yesterday I've tried this uh, back order sales. Um, where you have told that um, the next order will pick up uh, mm. whatever we have picked Correct. already. Correct. So I tried, sir, but it is not allowing me to enter the quantity, more more uh, quantity than what I have picked in the same sales order. It's not allowing more quantity. Um, In my document, actually, I have shown. Could you please open that? So please... Uh... I try to learn how to explain it to the others also, madam, because after you get into the project also, you should be able to explain your requirement, your issue, okay, your test result to the client also, right? So you should yeah, also so... learn this. Uh, I can verify the document, okay, but every time I'm verifying the document, so you should be able to express yourself, correct? Yes, sir. So yeah, I have... Please explain. Okay, okay. Um, in the sales order, I have put the item quantity too, sir. Uh, in the back order, I already had the same item. And um, while I was picking, I gave only one quantity. So when I was shipping, when I when I was trying to do two, two quantity, uh, it is not allowing. The system is not allowing. Okay, understood. So in the pixel <laughs> report, okay, the, my first question is, the new sales order when you are releasing, how much quantity is showing in the pixel report? One, one quantity. It's showing one. Actually, your sales order is uh, uh, the new sales order that you created is two or one? Uh, two quantities, sir. The back order sales order you cancelled it. Yes, the sir. I cancelled. Sales it. order line you cancelled it. What is that cancelled mm -hmm. quantity? Cancelled quantity was one. Cancelled quantity mm -hmm. was one. And the yeah. new sales order that you created for two. Yeah. And in the of which report, only one I yeah, of which only one I have picked. No, no, wait, wait. In the pixel report, how much is showing up? How much quantity? Uh, one one quantity was showing up, sir. Okay. And uh, during the pick and from uh, time also, how much it was showing? One. Okay. But during the ship and from time, uh, you're not able to enter two. Yes, sir. And did you verify uh, the one quant is there in the staging sub inventory? Did you verify that? Um, actually, it, it it wasn't showing up, sir. Uh, no, in the staging, I, I didn't check it. Okay, check in the staging sub inventory and also check in uh, another place also. I'll just show you whether the reservations are uh, unallocated or not. You can cross check. So if you go to the supply chain execution, and from the inventory management, you can go to the staging sub inventory and verify that one quantity uh, is there or not in, under the staging sub inventory. And also you can verify under the reservation screen also. If you go to manage, manage, the, reservations, and manage uh, reservations and picks. Oh. Go to manage reservations and picks. So you can enter the item. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, and here under the demand section, you should be able to see the sales order number also. That item, the quantity is uh, reserved under against which sales order you are able to see from here also. Okay. Okay. Uh, please cross check. Okay. Uh, what happened to that one quantity? Okay. The the picking process is showing good because pixel report it should display. One only because already in the staging one quantity is there. Pick confirm also one you are doing, that's correct. But during the ship confirm time, uh, it should display uh, totally two. It's not displaying okay. what you are saying. 
Yes, sir. I mean, in the ship confirm, we enter the quantity, right, sir? Yes, yeah, we will, we will enter, yes. So, when I was trying to enter two, it is not letting me. What is the sales order number? Nine eight four eight three. Item. One second, sir. AS 89060. Yeah, Dev 7. Kim, if you don't have any questions uh, from tomorrow onwards, you can straight away join uh, the auto management session. If you are having any questions, just connect to 10 minutes before that session, okay? If you don't have any questions, you can straight away join order management. If you are having questions, just start uh, 10 minutes before the session, join. I'll verify and uh, I'll clarify your practice doubts. Madam, this is not the right sales order, madam. 98483. It's not started, it is showing. Sridhar, are you there? I'm checking again, sir. Give me a minute. Huh? I have a doubt. Can I ask? Yeah, madam. Yesterday I tried a, I tried to create one sales order with two, two quantity. Okay. okay. I performed the partial picking. Hmm. That means out of two quantity, I pick only one quantity okay. to the staging. Okay. Okay. For the back order line also, it is showing the sales order line flow has a schedule, reserve, and in a shipping status, it is back order. Yes. That means the quantity is reserved, right? For yes. the back quarter line also. Where yes. it reserved in the so I mean the source sub inventory or the destination staging sub inventory. The picking is already completed, right? So picking, picking is not completed, right? After release the sales order while performing and, and the it's pick and the sub inventory. Meaning uh, yeah. the stores, I mean which yes. is uh, which yes. identify the system. Yes. Okay. Yes, in the source sub inventory only the quantity is there. And there itself, it's reserved. Sir, it is 98493. 98493. It's a waiting ship, madam, this line. This is not the order. Yes, sir. I mean, it is. Um, I have picked, but not shipped. No, the, Ship the other uh, sales order that I'm talking about. The back ordered yeah. one. Yeah, the back ordered one. Uh, it is nine eight four nine two. Okay. Just wanted to see sales order is in which status exactly. No, madam. It's also uh, it's an awaiting building. There is nothing back ordered here. Okay, I'll start with the order management session because uh, from the last two days I'm starting order management session lately. 
ओके सर आई स्टार्ट दी ऑटोमेटिक इंसर्शन शार्प सेवेंटी